Hi everyone, today's video talks about a book that discusses um, a story that involves sexual assault of a teenage girl from a teacher and um, so I thought I would just throw that out there in case you don't know what this book's about because that might be sort of a, um, a no-go area for some people so if it's not for you feel free to just click out and I'll see you in my next video but for everybody who's interested I'm here to talk today about My Dark Vanessa by Elizabeth Russell. I finished reading this book yesterday and it absolutely broke me. Everything that I discussed in this review I don't consider to be a spoiler. I'm not going to give away any sort of major plot lines or anything like that but um, generally speaking going into it you know from the start from the actual description on the book that um, this is a story about a young girl who considered her great sexual awakening to be with her teacher as she was in school. And um, years later, she's now a fully grown woman and suddenly she hears a rumour that her teacher has been accused of assaulting a teenage girl. And this leads her down sort of a, a very uncomfortable journey where she has to start really looking at everything that went on with her and this teacher in the past when she was just 15 years old and to sort of categorise it and decide whether she was actually the victim of abuse or whether it's been blurred lines. And I will say this book is extremely uncomfortable. There are very few books that have made me feel this uncomfortable whilst reading them. I can think of another three books that left me feeling this sort of physical sickness as I read them. Um, because this book really delves into everything that happens from the moment that Vanessa first has her first, very first um, sexual experiences at all. And they're with her teacher who is in his 40s and she's only 15 years old and she's embarking upon life at a boarding school. And the, just right from the start of it, it gives you a very uncomfortable feeling because obviously this is a position of power. Vanessa is a girl that is in a boarding school, so she's away from her sort of home support network and this teacher is making a move on her. However, however we are very quickly introduced to the idea that Vanessa considers this relationship to have been consensual. She believes that she wanted to be in this relationship with the teacher just as much as he wanted to be in the relationship with her. And we've got a dual timeline going on within the book. So we keep going back in time to when Vanessa was 15 years old. And we have sort of pop culture references, such as um, talking about Britney Spears and, and things like that. Um, things that were going on at the time for Vanessa. And then we jump forward to 2017 when the whole Me Too movement was breaking. And the 2017 Me Too movement seems to have been the idea behind um, My Doc Vanessa, where um, people are coming out of the woodwork and accusing this teacher, Vanessa's sort of one true love, of sexual abuse. And it takes us back to some very, very dark places. And it is it is such a hard read but I gave this five stars because it's a very important read. This is obviously a girl who is misguided and has embarked upon this relationship believing that she is more mature than she is at, at 15 years old and um, when we look back at the memories that Vanessa has and we start sort of unraveling what it is that makes Vanessa the person that she has grown up to be today, um, we realise that what happened to her as a teenager has shaped her entire life. It takes you to very uncomfortable levels but I do think that they were needed because without these sort of uncomfortable scenes the whole sort of portrayal of the underlying story wouldn't be able to be as prevalent as it is. And as I say, I found this difficult to read. It did actually affect my mood. I felt really sort of upset and a bit low while I was reading it. it um, it's it's not an easy book. And um, especially if you've been the victim of abuse in the past, this might be hugely triggering because there are just some parts in this that just are um, stomach turning, um, if I'm honest. At times we go into very graphic detail about what is happening to Vanessa and um, we're in Vanessa's headspace at the time and it's an uncomfortable place to be and it's extremely thought provoking and it's a book that I'm going to recommend to a lot of people. And one of the scary things is when I talked about this book in a group chat it turned out a lot of us had had experiences of being at a school when we were teenagers and there was always that one teacher that everybody knew was interested in the young girls and it was just sort of a very badly hidden secret. I moved school a couple of times and I can think of three different schools where there were three different teachers that were very very obviously into the teenage girls and when I say obviously I don't want to get into it but I'm, I can assure you that it's not just speculation this is a, a genuine truth. 
Um, and other people that I've spoken to also have said that when they were growing up and they were teenage girls at school too, there was other teachers at their schools who were doing the same sort of thing and who had the same sort of situations. And um, it just, it seems to be one of those things that just isn't really talked about, but it should be. And that's why I would really recommend this book to you, My Dark Vanessa. It was brilliant and it really does go there. It tackles the taboo head on, it leaves nothing hidden and it just really makes you open your eyes and realise what's going on. So with that in mind, if you've read this, let me know because I would love to know what you thought of it. And um, if you haven't read it, let me know if you're going to because again, I really would love to talk to more people about this book. So do let me know down below if you've read it or you can sort of chat to me on Twitter. My Twitter name is at Rosie Sparkles. If you want to find me and talk to me on there, I'm on there quite a lot. Um, so I'll always be about if you want to talk to me about this book or any other books that I mention. And um, yeah, so I'm going to go now and I'm going to start reading the next book on my list. And um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.